Keep watching Charis TV. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my mother and sister who had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle who ministered upon their lives. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Olga Mafumboka Thompson from Begwini Pal in Cape Town. This is my daughter, Nosbabalo Thompson. This is with me today, yeah. Ma'am, kindly please tell us the challenges that made you to come see the Apostle one-on-one -on -one today. The first challenge that makes me to come here is the death of my son. Um, I was very, feeling very, um, I'm still heartbroken because it happened on the 28th of February. It was in a car accident and then I was, so I went sick. So I decided to come to Charis and to meet my father, J.B. Makananisa. And how has this particular problem that you mentioned been affecting you? It was affecting me, my whole body. Was I, I was like feeling sick, don't want to eat. Yeah, in my stomach was like feeling pains. I don't know whether must I sit or sit sleep when I sleep I feel tired when I sit I feel tired this is why I thought no let me come to Didi let me. and today you had an opportunity of sitting with the Apostle one-on-one -on -one. would you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it um, Didi told me that this attack is looking for me and it's even heavy on the church also um, it want to destroy even me and my husband's life yeah, and everything that we are trying to do, we never succeed mm. because it's a very big, he said it's a very big, big attack. Mm. It wants to put us down. And the, it was all the things that he said, it was true because I worked very hard, put money away. While I put money away, something bad happened. Mm. So everything that Daddy told me today, it was very true. And he also told me, about the bad friends that my child have that is having an impact on her and it also attacking her mind so this is why i said today i feel like i'm a newborn again christian because they did speak with me mm -hmm. and some of the things i can't mention what he said but mm -hmm. he really um did um uh, what can i say revived. he revived me yes and how do you feel after seeing the Apostle one-on-one? -on -one? I feel much better. I feel much better. Not even better. I, I feel I, I, I am healed. Because every time I was sitting and crying, and even now, I, uh, I was like feeling crying. Crying, but when I meet the Apostle, there was no tears. When I start to speak about the issue of my son, I start to cry. Because it was everything to me and everything to her also lift up your hands i release you today now now be released in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be released in jesus Take it in the 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 Take it Take it Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released! Be released! In the name of Jesus. Lift up your head, my dear. Look here. I set you free. In Jesus' name.
you're free. And ma'am, what words of encouragement do you have for somebody who's sitting at home? Um, I would like to say people must come to Charis because um, when you come here, you don't have to say anything to anyone. The man of God will locate you and he will tell you what is wrong. And after that, you will be free. Most especially pastors, they must come to Charis because we pastors are experiencing a lot of attacks and everything because we are the face of God on earth. So when you are the face of God on earth, so attacks must come to you. So you must come to Charis. And we, I'm not um, saying this because it's my father, but I'm saying this, he's a man of God. He is a really man of God. He's not a person who can say something bad to you. And he always advise you the right thing what to do Amen. yeah you also had an opportunity of seeing the apostle one-on-one -on -one. what did he say to you when you saw him um he told me about my friends and you know as us as youth we have a lot of friends and it's for me i'm a very public person so it's very easy for me to make new friends so i didn't know that the friends that i make are the ones actually attacking my life or should i say they are being sent to attack me so yeah that's what the Apostle said, that I should be more closer to my mom and focus on life, generally. And do you confirm what the Apostle said to you to be true? If yes, kindly please elaborate. I do, because I... I, I I'm more like a chilled person. I, 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 I don't... I'm not um, a person that does things without thinking. So I find myself now doing things without thinking. I'll just I'll just decide on doing something, then do it. Yeah, but so that's why I say that um, it's true because they really affected my entire life and my personality. And what are some of these things that you would do without thinking, if you do recall? Man, we youth, we go out. And I used to go out but not drink or any or do anything else. Yeah. That's that's the that's that's the thing that I can say uh, it really changed in me, because I go out now, I drink now, I have boyfriends now, things that I never had, yeah. And how do you feel that um, you had an opportunity of sitting down with the apostle and he directed you? I could say I I feel. I feel like I feel like the old Naledi, like the old Miss Babalo, the people know. I, I, I just I just feel free, man. I, I don't know I don't know I don't have much words to say. I'm even kicking at that that's not me. But yeah. And what what words of encouragement do you have for a PK past this kid who's watching this? <sighs> yeah. I'll just say that um it's important to have an encounter with the Lord. Especially when you when you are a PK, because yo, there's a lot of things happening, and people are expecting much from you. Of which you have to to have you have to act on what they expect, because you are you are actually an example to them because you are PK. So I'll just say, we need God.